Hello, folks. Sorry, I forgot to hit uh, r record for a second there. How we doing? Oh, I'm so happy to be streaming tonight. It might be a little bit of a shorter one. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but we are back with some Pokemon Emerald. And uh, if you weren't here, we were able to find our elusive Feebas. His name is Harry. Um, and we are going to need to feed Harry some berries um, before too long. So that is why, if you look over here, we have a couple berries growing. Now, I totally messed up because we couldn't get the best berry that we could get for Evolving Feebas until after we beat the Pokemon League. But, if you talk to the berry master, the guy instead of the woman, um, every day he gives you a couple random berries. And these two berries that I planted, they're not quite ready to pick yet, but they will be good to help us evolve Feebas. So that's going to be great when we get there. It's a Kelpsy berry and a Hondu berry, by the way. Um, let's see. So now we are actually going to start making our way down to Lily Cove City. Um, we have the ability to fly now, which is great. Um, and in Lily Cove City, we're actually going to be able to get um, a very important item that we're going to need to help us evolve Phoebus. Uh, but right now, we're just going to make our way this way. Um, I might, I'll probably, there's a ton of trainers on these couple of routes. I might skip a few, um, but I'll try to run into a couple. Let's see, I think this will be great, Ron here. Um, but let's see, how was everybody's day? Um, my day was good. I worked on a lot of, like, personal project stuff. Um... I worked on some Silver Cave music, which I'm pretty excited about. So that'll be really lovely. Great. Love to see a Sing miss. Um, hate to see an Iron Tail miss. An eye for an eye, as they say. Um, but uh, yeah, worked on some Silver Cave. It was great. Um, got to work on some other stuff. Just did some stuff around the house. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of my job in the homestead right now. Um, I'm doing a lot of dishes and uh, doing a lot of laundry because my wife is at work. She is a teacher, so she is off for most of the summer, but um, she does have to work a little bit. So um, I'm keeping the cleaning locked down, so to speak, or at least doing my best. Um, but I actually have been watching a show with my buddies because we have like a weekly TV night. Um, usually it's anime or just something animated. Um, like we've watched all of Primal, which was really great. Um, we recently, not recently, but we finished, uh, love the shadow down there. Um, we finished, what did we finish? Uh, Scavenger's Rain, which was really good. What's up, JJ? How are you? Um, yeah, we finished Scavenger's Rain, and I am not even going to tell you what we're watching right now because the thought of having it spoiled for me uh, rocks me to my core. I am so deeply into it, um, but I'm literally not even going to say what it is because <laughs> I am too afraid to have it spoiled. Um, let's say, And this route is a vibe... Oh, you're doing pretty good. Great. Um, this route is a real vibe. It's a lot like the route up to Fortree City. Really, both of the routes that flank Fortree City is are rather incredible. Like two of the greatest routes in Pokemon. Um, I would say those two and the one up by Mount Chimney with the ashes. Um is great. Ooh, I don't know if we're going to challenge a contest today, but we are definitely going to go to the contest hall, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, and I don't know, we, we might be able to start making some berries into food for our, our buddy Harry the Feebas. Uh, let's see, and the two, Ron's a good matchup here. Oh, uh, Look how cute and little that guy is in this game. He's so small. <laughs> He's lovely. Um, 
But yeah, there's like a mini game that goes with making the Pokemon food. They're called Pokeblocks. Um, and you can't make them until you get to Lily Cove City in this game, uh, because that's where you get the Pokeblock case. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be good at the mini game. I'm going to try my very best. All right, so there's some double battles over there, but I'm going to sneak into this grass right down here. And we'll fight some of those double battles a little bit later. And I know there are some trainers in this grass here as well. Yes. I might go ahead and fight them. We'll see how I'm feeling. I'll fight you. Because <laughs> I know there are two, like, park rangers in this in this little grass patch, little grass uh, labyrinth. Um, and their teams are, like, inverses of each other. Um, I think one has a sea dot, a lombre, and a nuzleaf, and the other has a low tad, a lombre, and a nuzleaf, or low tad, a nuzleaf, and a lombre. Um, anyway, that just was gibberish in my head. Um, but yeah, really trying to stay busy during the summer. It's been delightful, honestly. Um, I have really come to enjoy working with kids. Obviously, it can be pretty frustrating. Um, but uh, one thing I enjoy a lot more is not working. <laughs> I really enjoy it a lot. All right. Oh, Lombre, this is perfect. We can go into our boy Blaine. He can get some experience. Um, I might try to get... If I can get an easy double battle, I might try to get... Ah, a classic fake. Um, I might try to get... Ah, Razor Leaf, because we're in the grass. That's actually pretty good for us. Because that's not going to do nothing to Blaine. Unless it gets a critical hit. Which it does have a high critical hit ratio. There we go. Yes, I was right. Perfecto. Another fake out. They both learn fake out. Which always makes me angry. Razor Leaf is a great nature power for them because it's actually the same type attack bonus. It's interesting. Oh, takedown. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, I guess I could get rid of Fury Attack. Yeah, I'll get rid of Fury Attack. Fury Attack is also not a very good move. <laughs> At least takedown will do a little more damage. Um, da, 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 da. You know, while I'm thinking about it, I'll go ahead and fight that other trainer. Oh, wow, Roxanne tells me exactly what I did wrong so I can learn from it. Oh, wow! That guy's uh, getting chewed out by Roxanne at the trainer school. Oh, I guess that trainer was further up. It's okay, I won't fight her now. This is a vibe right here. Look at those clouds rolling by! on the lake. Oh, so great. I love whenever you get out of the rain right there, the clouds like roll away. Oh, it's so good. Um, okay. Let's see, is there anything there? This is a bug catcher, I'm pretty sure. I'll go ahead and fight him. I believe he has some Pokemon. I don't know if we've seen this Pokemon yet. If we have, it hasn't been for too terribly long. This is Surskit. It's so cute. It's like a little water water bug that like runs along the top of the water. Um, and something really great is in Scarlet and Violet. Um, I was actually playing that a little bit. Um, the, Skurs the Surskit will actually be on top of the water. Because those games are a lot different than these games. They're like in full 3D. It's like an open world thing. And the Pokemon aren't, like, random encounters in the grass. They're actual, like, encounters you can see in the overworld. Um, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, Surskit, like, runs on the water. Or at least it, like, sits on the water. It's really awesome. But yeah, it's a water bug type. Classic. Uh, let's see. And it's a very quick little bugger. Let's see. One thing I did do recently, I mean, I'll for sure play um, Pokemon Scarlet or Violet on the channel at some point, just because 
I'm going to play every Pokemon game at some point, uh, if I can. Um, and they're really great. They're the newest games. I really like them. I think they're awesome. Um, they are well known for their technical issues, um, but I still think they're really great. The story's good. There's a lot of great stuff to love about Scarlet and Violet. Um, so let's do that. Now, I believe here, if we talk to this young lady here, we help the berries grow by watering them reg regularly. Yes. She... Oh, wait, no. I thought she gave us a wiki berry. Oh, no. I thought she did. Wiki berry would be another good berry for us to use in the food for um, Phoebus. But we're going to be able to find more of those Kelpsy berries. I know specifically where they are just because they're like pretty rare and there's one spot where they grow naturally in this game that I remember. Um, however, I know there's a ninja boy waiting up there. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm picking berries. I'll just speed through this really quick. Um, but yeah, Scarlet and Violet are great. I actually started a new save file on it recently. Um, because I'm going to go through it using only grass types, which is so fun. It's lovely. Um, is this a rare candy? I would love that. Oh, full heal. That'll work. More clouds. More clouds on the water. Absolutely great. Okay. So let's keep moving this way. So now we're into Route 121. Um... Might go ahead and skip them for now. Because um, there's actually another good bit of story stuff that we can do here. Um, let me save. There we go. Classic. Oh uh, yeah, and we're probably not gonna be able to run from this with Ron because Ron is so very slow. Oh, good. Happy accident. Happy surprise. All right, we're picking more berries. And some of them are just like... Some berries, I just don't remember what they look like. Um, so I'm making sure I pick everything so I can figure out if there are any of the ones that we need. Um, okay, great. I'm going to fight her. Those people were easy to skip. Ah, Kecleon, classic. I can probably get a good combo here. This is a cool thing to exploit when you're fighting a Kecleon, because now, I did a nice chunk of damage, it's going to change to the Steel type. But if you happen to have two moves um, that could work in tandem, like Mud Slap here, it'll be super effective against the new Steel type now, which is nice. If it was a more powerful move, it would have killed it. <laughs> and hopefully it misses. Oh, no, it didn't. And Fury Swipes does not even have a good uh, chance to hit. All right. And then another headbutt. Lovely. And then Saviper. We'll actually stay in. Ah, I really like Saviper. I think that's a really cool snake Pokemon. No, it's Crunch. Look at that Crunch animation. It looks great. Um... That, like, nice deep purple color on its face and on its chest there is awesome. Um, really cool Pokemon. Oh, it's lowering my defense now. Even though it is okay because Crunch is actually... Oh, Glare, that's terrible. Um, Crunch is actually a special move in this game, so if it uses it again, that won't affect us at all. Good. We hit through our paralysis. Good job, Ron. Ron should be evolving sooner rather than later. I think Ron and Blaine evolve both like in the mid 30s. So let's see. Ah, there's an item down there. I can see. Lovely. HP up. Great. I don't know who I'm going to give that to. Ooh, okay. We're to move out to Mount Pyre. Ah, all right. Um, so let's 
we'll come back to that. We'll go back there. We're, we're going to make it to Lily Cove City, and then we'll then we'll make our way down there. Um, a zinc. Oops. We'll use a zinc. Um, how about on Blaine? We'll use an HP up. How about on Blaine? <laughs> Uh, we'll use a Paralyze Heal on the Pokemon that's Paralyzed. Love to see it. Alright, I will pop over here. I'll, I'll give this double battle a go. I'm going to let Harry get a little bit of experience. Oh! I also just noticed that Grovile is only at level 30. Let's let Piccolo get in there. Love it! Um... Ooh, and they're slacking. Oh, I think what they like to do, if I'm not mistaken, sometimes um, double battlers will utilize the move Skill Swap. Um, and what that does is that Spinda, in this case, will swap abilities with slacking. And slacking is really strong, but has a terrible ability. But if they swap moves, that way it will just be able to attack whenever, which is really good. Alright, good. I'm glad we swapped out Harry, because he was gonna die if that hit. Oh, uh, no. I guess these aren't the skill swappers. Not yet. That might be later in the game. But I am doubling up on this slacking, because I don't really want to see it attack again. A critical hit would be lovely. We did not get it. How sad. Okay. Mm hmm. We're going to get that critical hit this time as I wake Ron up. Ooh, it's going to use Focus Punch, or it's going to try to, but... Focus Punch usually is not a very good or effective move, um, just because you can often just get hit first and not be able to move. Yeah, lost his focus and couldn't move. And that's tough for a slacking who can't move half of the time anyway. But we'll take care of him here now. Love to see it. Uh, one great thing about the Steel type is that you just resist so much stuff. Um, like, Ron is really a defensive tank um, at this point in the game. Love it. I wanted to get Harry a little bit of experience. All right. Because we are going to have to get Harry up one level um, when we do eventually get him all the requisite Pokemon food that he needs. Don't worry, I'll come back and fight all those people later. Um, I'm going to try to fight these people one at a time. And this guy really likes to look around and be annoying. And if I recall, these people are kind of tougher than your average trainer. I think they're cool trainers, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, cool trainers. And look, doesn't he look cool? One thing that's really fun to see is as you get later in these games, like Mainetric was such a boss Pokemon to us um, and really tough to defeat at watching this gym, but Now some random dude has one. Um, and, like, you know, it's not, like, that super special. Wow, that was critical hit and attack boosted. Um, it's not that super special, but it's just a really nice marker of your progression, you know? Pretty much any RPG would do that, but it's still neat, you know? Ah, uh, here is Shiftry. We have not seen Shiftry yet. This is what Nuzleaf evolves into. Um, it's a very scary kind of like, it's kind of like a Japanese, like, Oni type thing. Luckily, it's only using Pound right now. It's really, really cool. It kind of has like those, like, like wooden sandal feet. Um, 
and it's just got a generally mean demeanor. Um, this should not kill us. Okay, good. Love to see Fly hit here. Great. Good work, Blaine. Fly has been just wonderful for Blaine. Um... I'll heal Grove out too. I'll probably grab some more super potions at some point soon. There's definitely a hidden item in there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and they, you know, they want you to do this as a double battle. Um, but I wanted to fight them separately because it can be weird the way they spin. And honestly, they're pretty powerful. There's my critical hit. There she be. Love to see it. And Vigoroth, this is what our father uses. Um, we'll just get Ron in here. It was also really great recently picking up Iron Tail. Oh yeah, that's nothing, baby. Even though I really do hate how inaccurate Iron Tail is. You can you can't really ever like count on its accuracy. You, you really wish you could, but that's two out of three we've missed. It doesn't matter because he does literally two damage. Um, there you have it. No, you're horrid. Well, I was just battling like you were. Yes. I was hoping it was 32. We have not had an evolution in forever, I feel like. Because Guzzle's just a single stage. Grove Isle takes a while to get up there. Oh, look at that bad boy. Yeah! Laron! Hooray! That is great. That is absolutely excellent. Everything we want to see. Ooh, a max revive. That's great. These berries really quick. Nanab berries. Nanab berries. And then we have the other port town in Hoenn. Lilycone City. It is a delightful place. Uh, we're going to stop off here at the Pokemon Center. Yes, I've been wanting to make it here for a while. Because here, this beautiful pink building right here is the contest hall. And here, I don't know who we talked to, but somebody... Ah, the lady at the reception counter gives you a case for Pokeblocks. I guess that's who I need to talk to. <laughs> All right. Ah, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. All right, now that we've cleared that up. Hello, this is the reception counter for Pokemon Contest. Uh, I would not right now, um, because you see these people here, they are actually using the berry machines to make some uh, Pokeblocks. And let's see how this works. What's this guy? I love making Pokeblocks, nice. Let's do it, man. All right. Yes, this is kind of like a practice round. A little explanation. Don't worry, it's quite simple. When the blender's arrow comes to your marker, just press the A button. That's all you have to do. And this is something that I usually never do. So now we have to pick a berry. I'm not going to use one of our like super useful berries. I'm just going to use an orange berry. Hooray. So when that thing hits my little area, I have to hit A. And it, and it, like, gets faster as you go. Sorry, I'm trying to lock in. It's slowing down on me. Okay, so I got some good, like, 
critical hits. Really, something that you want to do is... Let me see. A blue Pokeblock was made. The level is 12 and the feel is 20. I don't know. I think the lower the feel, the better it is. Um, but from what I understand, we need to blend, make Pokeblocks that are above level 23. Um, and that's why we need some of those rarer berries um, to give to our Feebas. And if we would have been able to do the correct... Uh, <laughs> phrase to the berry master's wife she would have given us like a great berry uh, but that's okay we don't need it um all right so that's great um now we can do a couple of things um i'm going to head to mount pyre first um because we actually need to excuse me do some of that Team Aqua stuff. Ah, crap. I did not mean to run into this lady. But that's okay. She has but a Pikachu. Hopefully we can take it out in one critical hit. Leaf Blade. Absolutely. See you, Pikachu. Goodbye. Ah! Pikachu had its revenge. Dang it. <laughs> Uh, that was kind of funny, though. Um, I did have that one single paralyzed heal. Did Ziggy pick anything up? No. I'll just use a... Uh, whatchamacallit. A lava cookie! Du, 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 du. Yeah, I'll definitely... There usually comes to a point in the game where I'm just like, screw it, dude. I'm just buying like a million full heals and won't have to worry about that for the rest of the game. Ah! Here's a Pokemon we have not seen. This is the ghost-type Pokemon, Shuppet. Um, and it's cool that we're seeing Shuppet here because we are going toward Mount Pyre to um, deal with some stuff with Team Aqua. Oh, your computer died. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Shuppet, thank you, JJ. Um, but uh, Mount Pyre is much like the Pokemon Tower in the Kanto games. But here you have this big mountain that's right in the middle of this. Oh, wow, this must be a pretty high-level tentacle. Yes, it is. Piccolo can run away, though. It's all right. All right, so we have this big island mountain here. And this is Mount Pyre. Has that funeral music. Like I said, it has all the graves of passed away Pokemon. It's a very sad place. But now we gotta go outside to take care of Team Aqua. Ooh, this music. Mmm. Mm. Oh, not yet. I messed it up. <laughs> um, so yeah, Mount Pyre music is incredible. And this... Oh, this is actually Skill Swap. It's that thing... <laughs> I know. It is a triumphant tune. Um, this is that move that I was talking about earlier, and if, as we get up closer on Mount Pyre, it starts to get foggy! Look how cool this is! I love this! Oh, it's so great! Um, alright. <laughs> JK, of course. Thank you. Um, but a lot of the graves here, this is very much like... A hidden item thing. There we go. <laughs> JK from JJ. <laughs> nice. Um, I think you can catch Vulpix up here, um, which is really fun. And another hidden item. But I guess you could say canonically it's like people leaving items at the grave, so we're technically grave robbing right now, so I guess I don't recommend that. But as you can see, we have Team Aqua Goons up here now. And we got to take care of them. And Piccolo is going to be the perfect Pokemon to help us do that. 
Just gonna be slicing and dicing with some leaf blades, baby. I do love how the big logo shows up when you fight them like that. One leaf blade is an easy kill on a Carvana like this. Alrighty. Lovely. So actually, I like to pop in here. And you have this little grassy area. Is this an item? No. Uh, let's see. I feel like there's something in one of these. Oh, no. There isn't. How about that? Or maybe in one of these. Yes. There's another zinc. Love it. All right. So now we'll keep going this way. Um, I'm going to use that zinc because it's going to be burning a hole in my pocket. Uh, well, she's in a piccolo. Screw it. Another quick Team Aqua battle here. Yeah, a lot of times these, uh, you know, kind of goon battles just get very trivial. Um, even though, yeah, it's going to do some damage, but that's okay. I just decided to fight through it with Piccolo. Lovely. Um, here, though... Oops. Let's get... Piccolo here. We're gonna we're gonna get Ro let Ron um, get a little more experience. That way, when it is time for us to level him up to evolve him, um, he's just gonna be ready to go. Just need a little more experience, and it'll be good. Um. I do love this music. Mm. All right. Whale her. Da -da -da. And I'll just swap Harry out. Yeah, because we could be using Larry in some of these battles, but there's really just not a lot that Larry can do right now, if we're being honest. Um... Because Larry, as much like Magikarp, can only use Tackle um, until it evolves. Um, so he's very useless right now, and we must protect our boy. And I do really hate getting hit with Confusion. I hate it so much. I hate it so, I hate it so much. It's very interesting for how many years I've been playing Pokemon games. And I hate it so much still. To my core. It makes me so sad. And now we're both confused. This is terrible. <sighs> okay, good. Oh my gosh, Piccolo's still confused. I'm pretty sure that's four times in a row, just so we're clear. Um, finally. Was using scary face made me slow too. There we go. A little bit for Harry. Oh, I thought that was our last Pokemon, honestly. Hi, yi, yi. Oh my gosh. Now Piccolo is fainting. This is this is a travesty. Oh wow. That is amazing. We got that double attack boost from Swagger, and that made a peck literally kill that Carvana, so that's fun. Okay, we good. Are all you, I'm sure all you Pokemon players out there are familiar with Serebii. It has saved my life many a time playing these games, not knowing what I'm doing. All right, so we have Archie up here. Ooh, Team Magma's Maxi got ahead of us, but we also got what we wanted. The red ore preserved at Mount Pyre. I, Archie, now have it in my possession. Foo 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 foo. Now we can bring our ultimate objective to fruition. Okay, team, we're pulling out. I just hit my desk. Ah. 
So we have these two elders here, and they are the keepers of the blue orb and the red orb here at the top of Mount Pyre. And they belong together. Ah, so Team Magma came and took the blue orb first, and now Team Aqua took the red orb. Interesting. Ah, yes, and she says that Team Magma left this behind. It's the Magma Emblem. We're going to use that later. Um, it'll be really fun. I remember because this whole bit with the Magma Emblem is a new thing in uh, ba -ba -ba -da, Emerald specifically, which is really cool. I like it a lot, and I'm excited to show it to you. But now, uh, before we leave Mount Pyre, we actually need to get our last team member which I'm very excited about. Um, this is not one that I think anyone would ever expect me to use. It is not a terribly popular Pokemon. It is a Pokemon that I love, and it is a rare encounter here at the top of Mount Pyre, and that Pokemon is Chimeco. I love Chimeco, and no one ever thinks to use it. Um, because one, it's really rare. Two, it's kind of later in the game. Um, which is why... Oh, and here's Duskull. It's very much like a ghostly companion to Shuppet. They have those two, like, good new ghost lines. And we'll, we'll see more from Duskull and its evolutions later. Um, but, um, Chimeco is a 5% encounter here at the top of Mount Pyre. So it shouldn't be too terribly difficult to find one, but it is going to take a little bit. Um, but yes, again, so the way that I have done it thus far, when I kind of try to construct our team for our playthroughs, I always want to use kind of like a good variety of picks. Because, you know, we have our starter. Everybody would have a starter. We have some maybe more obvious choices from earlier on in the game. Like we have a Ron. A lot of people would find a Ron in Granite Cave and, and, and use it. Um, something a little more off the beaten path, like Torkoal and Swablu, you're going to run into them, but a little bit later in the game. And then Feebas and Chimeco are two real, like, sleeper, sleeper, deep sleeper picks. Because if you did not know anything about this game, um, you would never, ever, in a million years, know how to catch Feebas. If it wasn't on the internet, I would have no clue. I was, like, constantly referencing the internet. I'm like, can I even find it? Um, if you didn't know anything about this game, you just wouldn't know. Um, and that is why I want to be here to show you. Let's see. Oh, would I ever do a theme run? Um, yes. Um, I haven't done one here yet. I would. I mean, I'd totally be down. Um, I was just saying earlier um, how I started an all grass type run in Pokemon Violet um, on my Switch, um, which is super fun. I'm obviously not playing that on stream, but. Um, yeah, I'd be totally down. If people if people want to see it, I would totally be interested. I know um, I have done plenty of just, like, fun-themed runs, like solo runs or kind of, like, more challenge runs. I know challenge runs are very popular, like Nuzlocke and stuff. I would, I would maybe be down to do something like that. Um, I know I've been primarily just a straight-up Let's Play channel thus far, but who knows, man? I'll do whatevs. If it's fun and the people will enjoy it, I'm down. I'm absolutely down. Um, okay, I will run over here real quick just to see if there's any items because I knew there was some grass over there as well. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna look something up really quick. I'll give you I'll give you some vibey music while I do that. <laughs> Ah, 
ah, there was some, there was a Pokemon noise. Um, I talked about that a while back in a short, and you couldn't actually hear the Pokemon noise in the short, and people were just like, wow, you didn't <laughs> actually uh, show us in the short. Do, 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 do. Ah, there's another one. All right, so I was right. Let's see. So let's just pop over here. This is a good spot for us to be looking for Chimeco. And our poor Grovile is sitting there injured. And I'm really happy to fill out the squad because then we're finally going to be able to like start fighting some of the some of the trainers that we skipped um, another place that we have not even been yet um, and it's probably where I will try to level up Feebas um, is the trick house um, the trick house is a cool little spot it's right there by like cycling road in New Mallville there um, and I remember we passed by it. I always do it kind of like at the end of the game when I need some more trainers. Um, and uh, yeah, it's always a fun time because basically there's this guy who is just like, I like to set up uh, like a little fun house for people to go through. So then you kind of like go through his fun house and usually it has something to do with like using a new HM that you just got or something like that. Because you can do different levels when you're at like different points of the game. Um, but uh, every time you complete one of the levels of the Trick House, um, he will give you the Trick Master, I think he's called. He will give you a prize. Um, let's see. <laughs> How rude. Sorry, I just saw that, JJ. Um, but uh, yeah, he'll give you a prize. And they get kind of like progressively more rare as you go. And there are trainers there in the trick house, so it's a good place to train um, at the end of the game if you need to pick up a, a little more experience. This game, um, the Generation 3 games in general, I feel like they really kind of took it to heart because they... Uh, because experience is kind of limited as far as trainers go in like generation one and two. But here in, at least in Emerald specifically, you can fight the uh, interviewers over and over again. You can use that match call feature to uh, battle some trainers that you um, have skipped. And there's really just like more trainers in general, honestly. Um, um, that is me doing the Mount Pyre music for you, so you don't have to listen to me just like screeching through the speed up because I know this kind of takes a while. Um, yeah, I'm, I might find a Chimeco off screen at some point um, if we can't find it tonight. I, I hope we can. We should be able to. Um, let's see. Because I thought it was a 5% encounter. It's clearly not that. It might be less than that. It might be more like, like the Dunsparce in Crystal. It might be more like a 1% or a 2% um, encounter. Because right here, we're just finding Shuppets and Duskulls. Which, both Shuppet and Duskull actually have really cool eyes. Like, I love its, like, green, blue, yellow eye there on Shuppet. That's really neat. Um, and Duskull's eyes are really cool. Um, because, hold on, when we find one, I'll kind of point it out. Because it only has, like, one eye. Like, right here. It only has, that red is just one eye, and it just moves between both eye holes. It's really interesting and weird and creepy and really cool, honestly. I like Duskull. Um, I'm going to turn the music back on. Ooh. 
really just let it vibe out here. And I won't use too much speed up. Well, let me see if I can find something really quick. Silly me. Do, 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 do. Sorry guys, thank you for holding. Ah, a call! Hi, Kristen. Ah, I, I think that's the woman we just beat right there outside of uh, Lily Cove City. The Mount Pyre music is so good. I really love that track. Sorry, I keep kind of going in and out of... <laughs> Bye, Christy! <laughs> That's funny, JJ. I keep going in and out of whether I want to mute the music or not. Because at this point, we just finding encounters. Finding encounters and chilling, man. Just seeing all these ghosts at the top of the uh, graveyard mountain. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about, right? Nothing to worry about. And one other thing that's nice is that, like, in these old games, the scale kind of gets off, where it's just like, obviously in the overworld, something has to be smaller than it actually is when you go inside it. Um, like, think about in Pokemon Yellow when we went into the SS Ann, um, and it was like, like three person lengths but then we go inside and then it's huge um i feel like the scale is a little bit better in this game and as you can see like there is the water um surrounding uh mount pyre um and you don't really get that level of detail in the old uh game boy color games um just because you know they didn't have the capabilities a lot of the graphical upgrades here in, uh, whatchamacallit, Emerald, are just so great. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can have it on? Lovely. Yeah, I just, a lot of times when I use the speed up, you kind of get this kind of like garbled, um, high-pitched thing that some people don't like, but you know, I don't mind it as much. Um, at least for once we get an encounter and just need to speed through it. I feel like I should be counting encounters. I, fi I figured I would have a terrible time trying to find Feebas, but I'm having an, a truly horrific time finding um, Chimeco. Wow, the sped up music there sounds insane. Um, let's see. I guess I will talk a little bit about Chimeco. Chimeco is really interesting. It is a psychic type Pokemon um, and kind of a rarer, I mean, obviously a rarer one. 
Um, it's not like particularly strong. It is a single stage, much like our friend um, Torkoal, Guzzle. Um, And it's not, obviously, it's not the best Pokemon in the world, but it is one um, that can come in handy in a regular playthrough. It learns Psychic. Wow, this is the first time we can't escape. This is really weird. The very first time. That's odd. Luckily, it couldn't hit us with that Nightshade. All right. So I did just double check it. Um, so it looks like Shuppet um, is the most likely Pokemon to run into out here. It's at 85%, which is why we've seen a million Shuppets. Um, there is a 13% chance you can see Duskull. And I feel like we've seen a lot of those for just 13%. And it is but a 2% chance that we run into our friend Chimeco. That's okay, because we're going to. It's going to be great. Um, and again, if I have to do like we did with Dunsparce and Crystal, and I just find it off stream, that ain't no big thing. Because me finding it is just going to be the exact same thing you've seen me do for the last 10 minutes or so. Just run back and forth. <laughs> I do really like how in some of the newer Pokemon games you can find uh, just Pokemon in the overworld. Um, all right. I'll give myself about three more minutes, and then we'll then we might call it. That would be amazing. Okay, giving giving ourselves a hard out is nice here because that way if we find it within the time limit, that's going to be great. Cool. And so fun. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, we got two and a half minutes to find Chimeco. Come on. Come on. Come on, Chimey. Come on out. It's such a cute Pokemon. I feel like a lot of people think it's ugly, um, but I think it's so great. It's literally made to look like a wind chime um, that you would just hang outside your door. And I think it's supposed to be kind of definitely like Japanese inspired. I mean, a lot of these Pokemon are. It is a Japanese game, my friends. All right, two minutes. Let's do it. If this was some kind of hardcore challenge, it would, it would be like, okay, if we don't find Chimeco in two minutes, I have to release my entire team. Oh, you're, we're about to see it? I think you're right, JJ. I think you're right. Okay, we got about a minute and a half. Dang it. Just shup it. Just shupe. Shupe! Shup it is just such a cute Pokemon. It just looks like a little, uh, just like a little rag over a spirit. But it's great. I love it. All right, we're closing in on one minute to find Chimeco this stream. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Is your least favorite currently? Yeah, it is very tough. I remember uh, when I was young, you know, we used the Skarmory in our Crystal playthrough, but I remember playing Pokemon Silver and trying to find a Skarmory, and it was just impossible. I just kept running into Graveler, 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 and I'm just like, is it even here? Is it an urban legend? Um, but no, it showed up. Just like Feebash showed up, and just like Chimeco is going to show up, we have uh, 32 seconds. Chimeco is going to show up. And I mean, if Chimeco shows up right at the bell, obviously we'll still stay and catch it. But um, come on. All right, we got about 15 seconds. We can maybe get two more encounters. Okay. Okay. Another Shupe. All right, last one. This will be the last one. If this is Chimeco, I will lose my mind. I'm gonna close my eyes. 
Ooh, it's taking a long time. Ah, dang it all. All right, folks. Do one more minute? Okay, I'll do one more minute. All right, I'll do one more minute starting now. Perfect. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> and then we can be honest and stop. I love it. Thank you. Okay. All right, we can probably get, I don't know, three to four more encounters. Oh, no. One thing that I am always afraid that I'm going to do is that I just get in this mode of running away and that I'm just going to, like, absentmindedly run away without wanting to. Okay, we can probably get... Two more. Okay. I love having this little timer next to me. Okay. This is the last one. Dang it! Ah! Another freaking shop it, man! Ah! Gosh. That makes me sad. Um, what do you think, JJ? One more minute? <laughs> You'd watch this for 24 minutes? Okay, all right. Hey, what's up, XV? How's it going? Um, we are trying to find a Chimeco on top of Mount Pyre, and it's going going horribly. Um, just Vey is fine. Love it. How's it going, Vey? Um... Regular playthrough is exactly right. Yes, um, we, our squad is very interesting. We just have, we have a couple rare ones. We do have our friend Harry here, the Feebass, and I decided to torture myself and try to find a, another really rare Pokemon in Chimeco. And I have been doing this for like 20 minutes, um, and I just cannot find it. <laughs> Can't understand the feedback, but Chimeco. Are you a Chimeco enjoyer, Vey? I love Chimeco. A lot of people don't like Chimeco. And honestly, I just really wanted to challenge myself. Oh, <laughs> you meant can, I see. Oh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to challenge myself a little bit. Um, oh, English isn't your first language. Well, hey, I appreciate you using it because that's the that's the one I speak. Um, let's see, <laughs> it really does switch the whole meaning. Um, but what what is your first language, Vey? German. Very nice. Um, you know, for the longest time, I thought I had German ancestry, but it turns out it was all a lie, and, I'm, and I've been English this entire time. My parents lied to me. They either lied to me, or I just grossly misheard them one time. Um, but yeah, I've talked about it a little bit here. I've been trying to learn some Japanese, just very slowly. Very slowly, but surely, you know. Um, but, uh, thanks for being here, German. Um... Gosh, I just called you German. Thanks for being here, Vey. <laughs> I appreciate that. I just read your comment. Um, uh, guys, it's getting it's getting close. It's getting close to my bedtime, but I really want to make a real effort to find this Chimeco for you. I cannot believe that we haven't found one yet. Honestly. Um, oh yeah, JJ. Um, because. Again, it's just, it's a 2% encounter. That is not that, um... <laughs> hey, I guess you're right, Vey. That's funny. <laughs> I love that. I mean, I don't love that. <laughs> but uh, you bringing up the fact made me laugh. Um, you can call you Polish. How about that? Guys... I can't understand. I feel like the ghosts are scaring our beautiful Chimeco away. Oh, it's gonna be so great when we find it. A... 
All right, I might have to. I might have to give myself. You're, I'm gonna murder this Shuppet. I mean, it's just all these wayward spirits just floating around. Um, all right, I feel like I might have to give myself another. The rate on the Chimeco is two percent. Like, and I feel like. 2%'s more than 1%. I have found Pokemon quicker that have only had a 1% encounter rate. But it's it's 2 for Chimeco, so it should be it should be easier. I don't know. Um we're just not we're just not having a good time, man. We're not having a good time. Um let's see. Vey, are you a are you kind of a Pokemon lifer like me or are you a bit are you a bit younger? I'm in my 30s. I'm 31, um, and I've been here since the beginning. But I know a lot, I know a lot of players kind of a little bit younger than me, kind of like the generation below me started with Generation 3. Here's another phone call. Um, oh, my gosh. You just found Feebass as a kid? That's crazy. Yeah, you're 26. How about that? I feel like a lot of people your age started with Generation 3. Is that Is that fair to say? What game did you start with, Bay? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, I started with Gen 1. Um, Yellow was my first game. That's why uh, I played it for the first game on the channel here. Um, Yellow was my first game, like I said, but I really got into it with Silver. Um, and Crystal, Generation 2. Um, oh, you played the second gen later, but never the first one. You know what, Vey? Playing Fire Red and Leaf Green, that's that's pretty good. I don't, I don't even know, because, like, I love Generation 1. Very fond memories of it. Um, but I don't know if I would really recommend it um, for people who have never played it, just because, like, the quality of life stuff is just really uh not as good and they're very buggy very buggy games i would recommend playing fire red and leaf green though if you have not played those i feel like you probably have you played fire red absolutely yeah i also i also count it as gen 3 it, it's it's a whole different it's a whole different feel um but uh all right so this video has been recording for an hour and three minutes when it hits an hour and five minutes I feel like I might have to stop. Um, cause ya boy got to sleep. I, yeah, I was starting a little bit later today. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I feel like I could find a shiny before a Chimeco at this point. Sorry to interrupt. Um, <laughs> yes. Someone would think they were stuck in a time loop if they didn't know that what was going on. It is true. This just shup it. It's just an endless sea of shuppets. Um, I'm I'm thinking when we do finally see Chimeco, the Chimeco is going to be shiny. That would be crazy. Um, that would be so sick. Um, and again, wow, man, this is this is bonkers. Okay, we got a minute. We got a minute. We're gonna find it. Could you imagine? That would be insane. Um, cause I think the, ch the odds of finding a shiny Pokemon in the wild, I believe is like one in like 72,000, I think are the odds, if I'm not mistaken. Um, all right. We got 36. Maybe you might be right. I feel like I I was it does seem kind of sus, Vey. You're right. Because I I was looking I was looking up online and they're just like the the two patches of grass at the top of Mount Pyre, they are where you find Chimeco. But maybe I'll have to do a do a little bit of research. Okay, we got one more encounter. One more encounter. I'm just going to walk it. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to close my eyes. Once again. Curse you, Shuppet. 
curse you, shove it. Oh, gosh. Well, folks, I'll probably have to call it there. <laughs> it's been a fun ride. I Hopefully, by the time I start my next stream, I will just have a Chimeco. <laughs> so we don't spend the rest of our lives looking for one. Um, but Vey, thank you for stopping in. It was really nice to talk to you. Hopefully I see you again. Sorry that I we kind of butted up at the end of the stream here, but thanks for stopping in. Yes, you too. Um, but with that, folks, uh, next time we will find our Chimeco. We will continue. We will find those berries um, for Feebas, and it's going to be great. <laughs> You're probably right. I should just record it. I might not stream it, but I'll just record it. Um, well, anyway, I appreciate you. Peace out, kitties. <laughs>